Okay. Okay, we're in Macomb, Mississippi, uh, at a site of a house that Weyerhaeuser is rebuilding. Uh, my name is Fred Suter. I'm from Buckhannon, West Virginia. And this is Ivy Pittman. And what's your wife's name? Betty. Betty. Ivy, share with us some things about the day of the storm, what actually was going on and what happened when you came back. Okay, well, the day of the storm, uh, we were here at the house, and as you can see, we have quite a few trees here at the site, and the weather, as it began, the wind was getting kind of bad. We decided we'd try to go out in the country to my dad-in-law and uh, to kind of get out and around the trees because we were afraid something might happen. So we left and was going to go out in the country out there to my dad, dad-in-law, and I was in one vehicle with my grandson here and one of my, well, my baby boy, and my wife and my daughter, uh, they were in another vehicle. So we went separate ways because she was going to go by the store. And we were going to meet at my dad-in-law. And by the time we got on the road, the wind really began to get uh, bad. Yeah. And as we got on out, 98 out here, about seven or eight miles, Try to go through Homeville, and that's when we begin to uh, run into the tree that had begun to fall. So uh, we tried to go one way, and we couldn't go because the trees that was across the road we come back and we went on down 98 Fuller to try to go through another road, and we went a piece, and the same thing we ran into falling trees across the road, and we tried to come back and. By uh, sooner or later, we got trapped because we couldn't go one way. And then the way we had came from, the tree that trapped us behind us. So we was trapped. Uh, fortunately, we were not too far from my sister. Uh, she stays over there around Pleasant Valley Church. And that's where we got trapped at. My wife, she went out uh, for Macomb. We're going to come another way. And she wound up up around Pricedale, Mississippi. And, she was trapped and it was several hours before she was able to get rescued and it was so severe where I was at, uh, I wind up, it was late that night before I finally got rescued and when we did get to where we can make it back to our house here. Uh, and what did you find when you came back? Let, let, me let her talk. What did you find when you came back? Well first a guy called us and said, y'all need to come home. I'm like, come home. So we came on home, and when we got here, the tree had fell on my bedroom, and and just tiles and everything where we had kept everything up at. Man said had a big old hole inside the roof, and tiles all over the floor had them rained all in the bed and everything, and it was just missing. Okay. Now, what do you all think about what's going on here? <laughs> this is magnificent. Uh, I've never experienced such uh, joyous feeling than this. Uh, because when we drove up and those trees it uh, practically had the house covered, you couldn't hardly see the house for the trees. And uh, you know, it came to me. I said, "Boy, what am I going to do now?" I, I knew. Fortunately, I was the one that got caught without uh, homeowner insurance. And that, that what hit me first. I said, oh, my house is gone and I don't have insurance. You know, what am I going to do now? And uh, looks like God looked after you, didn't he? Yes, I, I received a call from uh, Miss De, uh, Denise and uh, she was letting me know that I was one that got picked in the Adopted Family Association and that, that was the best thing that ever happened. Okay. Well, listen, we thank you and uh, I'm heading back to West Virginia tomorrow. I'm a member of Southern Baptist Disaster Relief, but I'm also working with Weyerhaeuser. I thank you, and God bless you. God thank bless you all, too.